This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. It's the Ramble, the program you've all been waiting for, and we're here until midnight from New York, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, looking off, where are you, where are you looking? What are you looking at? Well, I was at? looking at my calendar. You're looking at your calendar? Right. Why? To see what day it is? Yeah. Do you, you know, uh, well, you work. Right. So, so you have that gauge about, you know, when it's time to, let me hold on a second. I have to get a tissue down here. Because my nose is dripping like crazy the last couple of days. Oh, really? Allergies? I, I guess. I don't know. My eyes are burning. You know, I'm a little short of breath from uh, from whatever it is. And it's, it's, I don't know. But anyway, so here's what happens. When you work, you have something to gauge the days by. Right. When you don't have that, it's like Marjorie isn't working anymore, Right. She's okay. always saying to me, today's Wednesday, isn't it, when it's Sunday? <laughs> yeah. Is that right? You lose all track, you know. Right. And I don't know how I keep it right, but today I, I kind of was off. I thought it was Thursday. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we only do Wednesdays. Yeah, well, that's why I knew it was Wednesdays, because uh, we, uh, we were talking to you, so, you know. Right. It's better. On your calendar. You're, you're my calendar. Uh, That's right. Uh, but at least I have a function. Steve uh, lives up in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah. And uh, do you pack the cat? In the garage. In the garage. Anyway, uh, that's the only thing I can do in Boston accent is pack the cat. Well, in Boston, you don't say Donna Summers. You say Donna Summer. Donna Summer. <laughs> <laughs> so that was her name in that part of the world? Right, yeah. right. Okay. Donner Sama. Donner Sama. Okay. Right. Yeah. So uh, how's it going? You, you were worried about being evicted or having to move or whatever. Well, I'm, I'm going to move at the end of the month. Really? Where are you moving? Uh, a friend of mine has a house and I'm going to go live there. Oh, really? That's nice. Right. That's very nice. Much nicer than what you got. No kidding. Yeah. So you and are you gonna pay rent there? Yeah. Okay. All right. But you're gonna pay about what you're paying now? No less. Bravo. Almost half. Huh? Almost half. Oh wow. Well, that'll be a nice break in your life, won't it? Okay. Now here's thirteen hundred, and I'm gonna move in for seven hundred. Oh, okay. And you have a nice room and everything like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you have the run of the house. Right. And uh, unless you're obnoxious, he doesn't mind you being there. Well, it's a she. Oh, oh, it's a, well, let, let, let's uh, let's look into it. It's a she. Is it more than just a landlord? No. Oh, okay. Is it a landlord? She's an old wait, friend. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Is it, here's a new one for you. Is it a landlord with benefits? I hope so. <laughs> I've known her since high school. You've known, oh, really? You talked about her, didn't you? Right, right. But you, you seem to think that there is maybe something going on again now or something? Nah, I think so. You don't I'm going to behave no matter what. Yeah, but she's she she's going to have to miss, she's going to have to be the one to misbehave, right? That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Okay. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep my hands to myself. Oh, very good. That's fine. Can you do, you can do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I always found that when I had people who were friends, women who were friends, I couldn't have sex with them. Right. In fact, I, they may have been people I had sex with at one time. Right. But then they became better friends and they became lovers, you know. Right. And, that's, and, this, that's, it. that's the case here. And I figured that the value, the true value, was as a, uh, as a friend, not as a lover. Right. So, right. You know. Also, I never, I never ever had sexual relationships with any women I worked with. Never. No, me neither. 
You know, and everybody, for instance, I remember Lori Thompson, who was my newswoman on the morning show. Uh, everybody thought we were having, at some point, something was going on. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Never, never, ever. We even slept together in the same bed in Ibiza, Spain, right? And right. That, and it didn't think anything of it. It just, right. good night, good night, we right. went to sleep because all we could get was one room or something like that. So. Right. Never, ever had a relationship with her. Right. And, and uh, you know, I had one of the, at one point, one of the most, you probably, you may remember her. She was at the Quake with me. Uh, Christy, she was known as Frazier at that time. And she was maybe the most gorgeous woman I've ever encountered. Is that right? Ever worked for me. Yeah. Never once did I think about, I mean, I thought about it. You know, I thought about, hey, that's a lovely woman. Boy, would right. I love to bet her down. And then I said, but she works for me. And I don't, that's off limits. Right. You know, and that's the way it has to be. That's the way it has to be because let's say you do have a relationship with somebody you work with. Okay, fine. You know, now if it turns into a real blow, full blown uh, relationship, and even you get married, that's one thing. But that never usually comes to that. It usually no. comes to at some point you break up. That's right. And now you're going to work every day with the person you just broke up with. And she probably hates you at this point. Oh, yeah. Oh Well, maybe doesn't hate you, but, you know. It's not happy with your behavior. It, not happy with my behavior or uh, it, just, it just doesn't work. You right. Know? And then you have to go through the process of somehow getting her fired because you don't want her around and that's not proper. No. You know, so it's better just to not have a relationship at all. That's why I don't understand all these people that they say, oh, the... The Me Too movement, oh, he, he came on to her, or he did this, or he did that. You know, I mean, I often wondered why these people even engaged in it at work. Right. You know, because it's just, it, it's never going to come out good. No, it makes no sense. Yeah, it's only going to come out good if you get married, and then that's not coming out good. <laughs> 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 So I and then no, you, this this lady, this lady who I'm moving in with, we were together to, in high school, mm -hmm. college, and then after college, we had a sexual relationship. Yeah, yeah. We had a sexual relationship in Worcester, then in France. We would live together in Paris, and then we lived together in San Francisco. <sighs> That's interesting, you know, because you that seems to be maybe one of the, uh, uh, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong one of the longest relationships you've had. Oh, that's right. Absolutely. So now it's turning into, oh, come on, move in with me. Right. Do you think there's anything implied in that? No, not at all. Not at all. Did you talk about this? It's left unsaid. It, it doesn't need to be talked about. Yeah, yeah. But you still have a, you still feel for her, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So how can you, how do you mix those two feelings? I mean, if you have some, some love for her, some caring for her. Right. I still love her. Okay. I mean, I can love her and be friends. Well, that's true. But when you love somebody, you want it to be just a little bit more. Yeah, sometimes. You know, I mean, uh, but you're not going to push it. No, not at all. That yeah. would be wrong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, have you, you have you discussed this? I mean... No, I mean, it just happened the other day that she asked me if I wanted to move in. Yeah, yeah. This is all rude. This is all new news. Why? Were you sitting around going, boo-hoo-hoo, I have nowhere to live after the end of the month? No, I wasn't. She, she was the one who suggested it, though. She said, you know, she's having a rough time financially, and she said, you know, you'd be helping me out. Oh, that's very good. Very right. good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. So suppose she gets evicted. I mean, she's not renting, but... No, she, she owns it. She owns it. Does she own it outright, or does she make payments every month? I don't know, but I think she makes payments. I think she has a mortgage. So that's why the the $700 a month will help her. Right. Okay. Considerably. Yeah. And then we'll split the utility. Utilities here have just gone up as of midnight yesterday. Yeah. 
Electricity went up 67%. No. Yes. 67%? That's right. Can they do that? They already did. Wow. That's amazing. I, I just wonder, I mean, can they do that? I mean, 67%. They, I don't think they could do that here in New York. I don't know. You guys have renter's laws. We have none. Wow. We have no renter's laws. Yeah, we have uh, we have very tough renter's laws here. Right. You know, but uh, only because the landlords are such dicks. In general, landlords here are, are just, throughout the whole city, not just my landlords, but all landlords are real right. dicks. Uh, they try to get away with anything they can get away with. Sure. And then you got to take them to court. So they can't get away with it. Of course, they can't get away with it. But you know, you right. got you got to take them to court, and that costs money. I mean, like well, the whole thing we went through here costs us between that and a payoff we had to make about one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Really? Over a period of ten years. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a lot of money. Well, it you know what it is. If you think about it, it's about. Oh, I don't know, fifteen thousand dollars a year. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Which, if you think of it, we weren't paying rent. Right. Okay. What does that come to? That comes to about. It'll come to about fifteen hundred dollars a month. Okay. So, you know, but I mean, nevertheless, it costs us that much money to deal with the whole legal action. Right. And it just right. it went on and on and on. It lasted for. What was it? How many years? About 10, 10 11 years? 10, something like that. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it, it, you know, because first of all, we finally went to court, all right, after about eight years, and then COVID right. hit. And so, the, you know, you couldn't go to the courthouse. So there was nothing for like a year and a half. Is that right so, that yeah, long? Yeah. So, I mean, it just kept stalling and stalling and stalling. You know, I mean, we just want it to be over with real soon, you know. Right. But, I mean, the lawyers just eat up your money. I mean, oh, it's no just, kidding. just amazing. Just amazing. That's their job. Uh, yes, but, you know, I, I think that it, it's like uh, if, you, if you call them to, to ask them something, you're then charged for 15 minutes. Right. Okay. What's 15 minutes in lawyer fees? That's about $200. Is that right? Yeah. I remember once, I love telling this story. I had a, a lawyer. His name was uh, Joel Turtle, which is, not a, <laughs> which is not a good name for a lawyer. You know, like it's, somebody wants to sue you or they're giving you a bad time, they say, you know, if you, uh, if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, deal with me, you're gonna to have to talk to my lawyer, Mr. Mr. Turtle. Turtle. I then replaced him with another lawyer, who was a good friend, who had a much better name for a legal practice. His name was Reamer. Ah. Right? In fact, okay. his mother had a divorce firm where she was in partnership with another guy, and it was it was the divorce firm of Skinner and Reamer. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, with Joel, I, I sent I, one time I look at my calendar, it goes Joel Turtle's birthday. I go, oh, good. I'll call him up and just wish him a happy birthday. Right. Call him up, wish him a happy birthday. Uh, about uh, later that month, I get a call from my, my uh, accountant, and he says, What's this charge with Joel Turtle for $200? And he said, you, you that that was the day I called him to wish him a happy birthday. And he charged you. Yes. And they wonder why lawyers get a bad name. You know what happens is they just probably, they probably push a button. You know? Alex Bennett calls. Okay. Boom. And it automatically decides it, it charges you. You know? Right. Uh, you know, because I, Joel was a pretty good guy. You know? I mean, but... 
to get a bill from him for wishing him a happy birthday, I thought was just, you know. A little absurd. But those were my days at Live 105, and I had, or not even Live 105, I think it was still prior to that, maybe at the Quake. And I was, oh, making, really? I was making a lot of money anyway, so I didn't care, but it just seemed a little absurd, you know. Yeah, no kidding. But, no, lawyers, I'll tell you, if I had to come back again in another life, I would uh, come back and become a lawyer. Because you get a law degree and anything else, and uh, oh, gee, all of a sudden everything kind of went glitchy here. Well, that's okay. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, you know, um, if you become a lawyer, that and anything else is fine. Let's just say you're a lawyer, but you decide to become an agent. Okay. Okay. You don't have to hire lawyers. You're an agent. Because you are and, one. Because you, you are one. Uh, if you get any other job, no matter what it is, if if you're if you're doing a talk show and you're a lawyer, right? Right. You you're know, still a lawyer. It, lawyer plus anything else equals more money. Right. So My I would, dad wanted me to become a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. I would become a lawyer, but I don't know if I. You know what I couldn't go through? Are you very? Were you very good at school? I mean, were not particularly. You, were you, no. Yeah, you weren't a good student, right? Neither was no. I. I was too lazy to study. You know, right. I, I mean, I got fairly decent grades, and I never studied. Yeah, me too. Right? I never did the work it took to get good grades, but I came out with like a, I don't know, B minus, B average, something like that. But uh, if I had to go to law school, I'm sorry, I couldn't. I, the, the studying that it takes to become a lawyer, I just couldn't go through. Right. That's why I went into radio. I didn't have to study for it. <laughs> Today, well, you, when you, huh? When you started in radio, it, it, uh, to, you had to, uh, didn't they have to get, uh, pass some sort of test? No. Well, here's what you're talking about. There was a thing, if you, if you worked at a radio station, and you operated a transmitter, because a lot of these places are what we call combo operations. There's just you, the board, right? right? And the transmitter, okay? And you might be there from midnight to six in the morning or whatever. So in order to operate that transmitter, you had to have a license. Right, right. So uh, if it was under a certain amount, like a 500 watt station, for instance, um, you didn't have, you could only had to have a third class license. And how you got that, you went on third class restricted. You went to the FCC and you uh, uh, got a little card and they gave it to you on a piece of paper or whatever. You cut it out. That was your license. All right. Huh. If you wanted to do a little better, you could get a third class period, and I went and got one of those, and they were simple too. You had to answer like 10 questions or something like that. Is that right? But if you wanted to operate a, let's say, a first class station, but you need a first class license, that was a god all, there used to be cram schools that taught you. You didn't know, know anything when you got out of there, but you could pass the test. Right, right. Well, I never got You an engineer, didn't you? What? Didn't you have to be an engineer? Well, basically, that's what the license is, is that you're allowed to operate the transmitter, take the readings, you know, and that you're not going to over-modulate it right. and whatever, okay? Uh, but these weren't guarantees of anything. People had first-class licenses who went to one of these cram schools, got the license, and didn't know the first thing about right. electronics. So, but the thing is, is that, that you had to have one of these in order to operate. Well, I came to, if I had gotten a first class license, I could have worked anywhere, right? Right. But if I had a, a, just a third class, uh, I could only work at a certain amount of stations unless they had somebody around who had a first class license That's while right. I was working. So I came to the theory of, of I'm not gonna get myself anything more than the third class license. If they really want me, they'll have somebody around to take the meter readings, you know? Sure. And it will also mean that I will be able to do the kind of radio I like doing. It was, it was a, a theory that uh, that would just allow me to get jobs that maybe I wouldn't normally have even taken. Is that right? Yeah. So anyway, I just felt that if I was good enough, 
they would put somebody on who would take the readings. And that's right. what happened eventually. I mean, I worked at stations where you needed a first-class license to operate the transmitter, and they'd always have somebody on staff who was there while I was doing my show who had a right. first-class license. So that that's the only license. When you're talking about being, you have to be licensed. It wasn't a, it wasn't a license to be a broadcaster, you know. No, it was a license to operate the... The hardware. The hardware, yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, whatever. So, uh, you know, they had, uh, you know, a 50,000 watt station, directional station. Uh, there were two kinds of stations. There were directionals and non-directionals. The directionals, the, the 50,000 watt directional at night, that signal would go all across the country. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, but I, you know, I, I didn't want to have to operate the, uh, and I've worked those stations, but there was a, there was an engineer there running the right. transmitter, you know. So, you know, I, uh, I never had to have, I, I, and I never got, I lost a job because I didn't have a first class license. If they liked me, they'd fi figure out some way to have me cover. To make it work. Yeah, to make it work. If I, usually if you work during the day, there was always some kind of engineer. Excuse me, folks, I'm. I've, I've got my drippy nose. Uh, um, don't I look like an old man when I do that? <laughs> uh, God. Playing. There are moments when I'm walking down the hall here in the morning when I first get up and I'm just creeping along and I go, God, I'm, I look, I'm, I'm acting like an 82-year-old. Right. You know? And then I'm going, well, what else are you going to act like at 82? You know? Right. I've been wondering. Do you ever wonder why old people were cranky? You go, you don't have to be cranky. But now I know why. Because old people are hurting all the time. It's happening to you, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You wake up and it's raining today and suddenly your back is aching. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Now, when I was, and I keep thinking, you know, you always, there's a point at which, let me ask you this question. There's a point at which you look in the mirror when you're growing up and you see a 14-year-old. Okay. Right? You could be 35 and you see a 14-year-old in the mirror. Okay. You know, you never seem to grow. At what point did you suddenly realize you were no longer 14 years old? Probably in my 40s. In your 40s? I think I had to get to my 60s before I began to say, I'm slowing down a little. You know? Really? Yeah, yeah. Because I never, age was never a factor with me, but now it's everything. Right. You know? I mean, to begin with, I wake up in the morning and it goes, is this my last day on earth? You know, I don't know. You know? But then again, I could have had a heart attack at 50. You That's know, right. So, or, or, I had a heart attack at 40. Look at Will, 65 or so. Right. Stroke, right? You never know what's going to happen. I think Will's my age. Is Will your, how old are you? 66. 66, yeah. So, I mean, you know, stroke, boom, that's it. Right. See you later, you know, or, yeah, no or, or see you in a bed for the next three years. Poor guy. Yeah, I heard that he said he was going to be doing a Willie and Will show, like at some place, and that it was going to be his first appearance in three years. And the last time I saw him, he was still in a bed. And right. That, that was a couple of weeks ago. I don't know how he's going to do that. In a wheelchair. Could be, but you know, I, it's a, it, it's amazing to me. I mean, I'm I'm going to have to call him and find out what. Have you talked to him at all yourself? No. Yeah, you should, probably should give him a call. You yeah, know. I should. And get a hold of Debbie. She'll get you in touch with him, you know. Right. Well, I have a cell phone number. Yeah, okay. All right. And he, I think it's the same number. Uh, but, you know, when that happened to Will, I just went, you know, there's no justice in this world. There's no God. No. There is no God, okay? Because if there was a God, Will would not have had a stroke. Nicest was, guy on the planet. Hmm? No, Nicest guy on the planet. Without doubt, you know. Uh, and you're hearing this from the 
non-nicest guy on the planet. <laughs> that makes two of us, Alex. Yeah, yeah. We were, we were, and the fact that he was nice to us shows how nice he was. That's right. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. I hate. I hate, also hate the one thing I hate. Now we got to go here. Is that I is, is griping about getting old. I'm always talking about things that are happening to me because I'm old. Right. And I'm getting tired of that, but I can't stop. You know, because you know why? I'm that grouchy old man I always wondered about. Are you really? Remember when you used to go to an old person's house and they, you'd smell old? <laughs> yeah, I wonder if this house smells old. Anyway. Yeah, you know, I wonder. <laughs> so, uh, we'll get together next week again. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's our dear friend, Steve Kravitz. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Alex. This is GabNet. The Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Well, here we go. Here we go, folks. Uh, yeah. You know, this is, uh, this is unusual here. This is the first time in the history of the ramble that when I finished with the interview that I was doing and I go to the, uh, to the um, um, uh, you know, the the panel, as it were, or go to this part of the show, that there's nobody waiting. I'm just sitting here waiting for people to call. Well, here comes uh, Alan, you know, uh, but that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's a beginning. But, I mean, it's just uh, nobody. I mean, uh, just, uh, and, and uh, I don't wish to say that you're a nobody, uh, Alan, but you really are. Hold on, I gotta lower my my audio. It, every time I log on to this thing, it takes my audio to the top up there. Sorry. Really? That's okay. That's you know, okay. I really, I'm, I'm thinking of, of forgetting uh, doing the show Thursday. on on Thursdays. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Yeah. This is absolutely I, ridiculous. I think, I think you ought to. I mean, I mean, why bust your ass for three or four people? And the same three or four people will be on Wednesday and Friday. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm, I'm back. To, I'm back to babysitting mom again on Friday, so I may not be on a lot of Fridays. But who knows? Yeah, I don't know. But uh, how's mom doing? She's she's okay. You know, she's uh, she's got some health issues, but she still drives. She gets out and plays mahjong with her friends. Uh, you know, goes to synagogue once every seven years. You know, that type of important things. Yeah, <laughs> you know. I, what a ninety-year-old Jewish woman does. Is that what a what a Jewish woman at ninety does? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So when you when 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 Marjorie gets up there, you'll know. Uh, yeah. Well, Marjorie just had her birthday today. What right. is she? Sixty-three. Uh, no, no, she's. Uh, I, I won't say how old she is. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hang on, it's me. Hang on. I know. You got to figure out there what we. it is. Yeah, there it is. Anyway, um, it's Kevin, folks, uh, and uh, here comes Jeff Stein. Okay, so why bust your ass for three or four people? Oh, uh, now Jeff, you got you got. It. <laughs> God. So, so, yeah, yeah. I'm back. I'm back to babysitting mom again on Friday, so I may not be. Just on kill your browser. I'm trying. Just find the browser and kill it. Up at the top right-hand corner, push the X. Push the X and just kill the browser. There you go. See? No, no, no. You know, goes to synagogue once every seven years. Well, I, I, you know what I love about it? I love hearing repeats. It's really, uh, you know, it's, it's a rerun. You, you, know, you know, what I do is I listen to you talk to Steve Kravitz, Kravitz or mm -hmm. whoever you're talking to. I log in and I put the login box up in the right hand corner. And when it's getting close, I have my 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 mouse over the uh, uh, up in the right hand corner of the X. And when you when when I see it coming on to admit, hmm. I close the browser. It's it's easy for me. It's okay. Jeff will get the hang of it one of these years. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Anyway, today was uh, Marjorie's birthday. Happy birthday to and her. And like the true husband I am, I forgot it was her birthday. 
Oh, shit. Well, here's what oh. happens. I know her birthday is November 3rd, okay? I know yeah. that, and I constantly say, hey, November 3rd, it's her birthday, got to do something, whatever. But I've had so many technical problems in the last 24 hours that I didn't even think today was the 3rd, in spite of the fact that I was filling out and posting all those things from on the on the website, you know, that said November 3rd. And it just didn't register with me. So about 4.30, Marjorie comes in and says, well, make sure you're ready. And I'm thinking to myself, ready for what? And then I think, oh my God, it's her birthday and we have plans to go to a restaurant. And she's never gonna let me forget this one. But I remembered, I did remember it's just so you put it in your phone. Well, you know, annual absolutely. reminder. The first, I every year, the first thing, first thing I did after this was I put it in my calendar as a yearly event. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and have it notify you the day before. Yeah, iPhones you can do yep. that. Well, I always, I, 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 I always check my calendar every day to make sure I have nothing to do. You know. So. Okay. Well, now you get next year. You'll know that it's Marjorie's birthday the yeah. day of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but anyway, but and today I was feeling really loopy. You know what I find? If I don't eat uh, uh, early on in the day and start filling my stomach with food, I'm just wobbly and weak and everything else. I guess I need to make sure I have food in my stomach now, you know? Yeah, it's fuel. Yeah, it's fuel. But so we went out to dinner, and I after dinner I wasn't feeling as loopy as I was feeling going to dinner. So, but anyway, so, I, I gotta love the people that comment about Phil and me on your on your Facebook profile. It is so funny. Why is it funny? Ah, it's just you know they don't they don't like either one of us, and they always got comments. Well, why they, don't they get why don't they get on the show? They do like Phil, actually. I think. You know, overall, they, they feel Phil's an okay guy. His politics are just fucked. That's right. That's what he said. And then yeah. he, then they, the feel, they feel that you're just fucked. That's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> They're probably pretty much right, you know. <laughs> Something about uh, Alex thinks he's a pain in the ass and uh, and Alan doesn't care. That's right. I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's my MO. I am a pain in the ass. So Yeah. And if it really bothered you? You wouldn't let me on the show. Well, I that, that, that's partially true. The okay. other the other thing is is that what's partially true is that I don't believe in keeping people off of here. I'm kind of like, you know, Elon Musk in that respect. You know, and and maybe it's a big mistake that I make. I mean, if I were very particular about who came on here, I might have a bigger audience. And I'm your your in-house fake doctor. You're not even that, because I don't let you be a fake doctor. Yeah. Well, it's kind of funny when you say I don't want you to talk medical stuff. The next show, you're like, blah blah blah. What do you think about that, Alan? Yeah, I agree with you. Okay. Well, he knows what he's talking about. I thought it was funny. Well, for, with you, medicine is a hobby. That's right. You know, and and uh, for people who are dying of terrible diseases it's not a hobby no definitely so not. therefore i don't want people to get advice from somebody where it's a hobby right well I, you know what yeah, i'm saying i have a bachelor's degree in microbiology slash biology Fine. so you know and but that was 30 some maybe 40 years ago hell i don't know yeah but i mean and that's fine but that's yeah. not medicine you know um you know sort you of, yeah. Sort of not yeah yeah I was going to go be a doctor. I had good grades. You were talking about that with Stephen Kravitz. Mm -hmm. I had good grades. My parents had money, and they were going to send me to Stanford. So what I, happened? I, I was happy being a police officer. Really? Oh, okay. All right. Yep. I felt more of service, you know, at the time. Now, you know, hindsight later on in life, I probably should I don't, I don't know if I'd want to be a doctor. You know, if I were going to be a doctor, uh, maybe I'd want to be a pediatrician. You know, because yeah. it's really most of that, or obstetrician, uh, most of the, those, those areas are happy areas. People having babies, kids growing up, you know, 
very seldom do you get into something where the kid is dying and you've got to tell the parents, you know, and things like that. Because by then you've sent them off to somebody else anyway. You know? I like diagnosing things, uh, appliances, yeah. heating, air conditioning. So I would have been happy being an internist yeah. where you get to diagnose adults or a pediatrician. Yeah. Yeah. Obstinate, yeah, I'm not a baby doctor. Oh, Jesus. Well, listen, folks, as you notice, we only have two other people here. We would certainly like more people involved in our little get-together. Uh, Jeff will be back in a minute or two. Jeff will be back, back, but that's, you know, Jeff doesn't say much of anything. You know, he and, that's, and okay. that's fine with me. You know, when he does, it's very good, you know. Yeah, he's a very intelligent guy. So. Yep, yep. So, out there listening, Jeff, I'll give you my address to send the check later for saying that. Yeah, yeah. So how you doing, Kevin? Okay. <laughs> Getting ready for the elections. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, you do that. Uh, you do the stuff at the polls, right? Yeah. Got my binders ready. Had to make my phone calls tonight for my people. Get them all lined up. Yeah. Do you do it out of garage somewhere? Do you do it out of a school? Oh, no. no, we have we have voting centers. You know, I've already, yeah. by the way, got, I've, I've already voted. Yeah, we've gotten to the point where we, we, we've gotten rid of all the garages and stuff. We just have four places in the county. Yeah, uh, we, uh, I voted, uh, we voted uh, Monday. We went over, it's over to the school here, did early voting. You know what I think is ridiculous are all these politicians that are going out stumping for people in the last week when, in fact, they should have started last week because voting started last week in a lot of places. We've been, they've been, they opened ours, uh, they opened the county about three weeks ago. Yeah. And then we're going to open on Saturday and go for four days here. Is, uh, Saturday, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. School here. Did Wait a minute. May I? Hey, he did it. He got it. Okay. I know. Yeah. It's like yeah. Jim. I don't know. Let, let, let's see more of your face. Jim. Okay. You know. There we go. Oh my yeah. God. Sorry. Yeah. It's same good. face. That's same face. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, what I'm saying is, is that. Um, um, uh, yeah, they were saying Georgia's got like, what, two or three million already. Yeah, I mean, why are you running down there now? Shouldn't you have been there two weeks ago when people were thinking about going and doing it early, you know? Yeah. That's when you want to get the troops out. Now it's kind of getting a little late. I mailed mine in three weeks ago. Uh, took, it, took it to the post office. Yeah, that's good, too. You know, that's another way of doing it. Uh, but I mean, I, I, uh, uh, we, we did our vote and, you know, I, I had to hold my nose because I had to vote for the lesser of two evils. Uh, who, who was that? Kathy Hochul. Kathy Hochul. You voted for Hochul? Well, who else am I going to vote for? That other weird fuck? A a ask Tony. Oh, don't get, I'm all mocked up. I got my simulation done today. Yeah, I don't care. Who'd you vote for for uh, I governor? I didn't vote. Would I you turn your wait a minute? Would you turn your camera on, Tony? Oh, it's off again. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's a plus. Hold on. I gotta look back into my Zoom now. Hold on a second. Where is it? Yeah, where is it? Every everybody is like. Oh, here it is. I run a Dungeon and Dragons game for people, so that's why the camera's off when I get them together. I don't want them to see my paper, so I turn my camera off. I do a Zoom. Okay. Don't want them to see the wallpaper? No, I have my game notes for them. They kind of, it's another, yeah. I should get used to play one time. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Alex, I can't stand Hochul. I don't want you to yell. Oh, no, I know. I don't like Hochul either. I think she's horrible. I, I get a name wrong. Is it Hochul or Hochul? But, but the know. other guy is just simply the b worst possible thing you could do is vote for that guy. My sister don't want to vote for him because of uh, the abortion. For the yeah, women. well, that's a, one good reason. He's ready to throw me out the window. <laughs> she said, you can't vote for him. I said, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, but I'm saying, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that him. I always have hated the fact that when I go in to vote, I'm voting for the lesser of two evils. Yeah. And, and I don't like to do that. Give me one person I really am enthusiastic about. But, Alex, but I unfortunately, the one I would have been enthusiastic about patted some woman on the ass and then got out of being the governor, you know? 
I mean, the one thing Phil is a little right about, and I don't want you to yell, crime is bad, and I'm going to tell you why. Well, crime is not bad. Alex, listen to this. I was getting a comic delivery, right, from FedEx. So the guy's ring. I saw the truck in front of the house. I go downstairs, and the detective comes by the door. He says, can I use your ring.com? I says, yeah, what happened, right? He says, oh, a lady got mugged. A lady got mugged right in front of my house at gunpoint. We never had that happen. They actually picked them up with a hoodie. Though, well, now it's, now it's happened. But the fact is that, you know, you're a kid who really didn't grow up in this town in the 60s and 70s. My mother never went into Manhattan in the 70s. We stayed I in mean, you want to in in talk about it being rough? It was rough then. It's not, How bad was it in the 70s? Terrible. Yeah. It was terrible. But it was kind of exciting. It kind of, it, you lived really? on the edge. Yeah. They, I liked New York back then because it was not a, not, it was kind of a filthy city, but it was an adventure. You know, do you know what I'm talking about, Jeff? You know what I'm saying? I thought you'd be afraid to take the subway. If a mugger uh, asked you for a match for or a cigarette mm -hmm. yeah. and you said, I don't smoke, I don't have one, he'd mug you. If you said, I have one, he says, what are you trying to do? Give me cancer and he'd mug you. That's the way it was. In it New was York, in New York, when you get a budget for the week, you got a budget for holdups, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I mean, yeah. I, uh, I never... I lived in at that time, and I never was involved in anybody doing a crime upon me or seeing a crime being committed. Okay. Can I ask you this question then? Because you were living in the city, and we were here. so when you were done working, you were in nice areas. You never felt I was I was reading. I took a library book out on New York in the seventies, and you see the pictures of the trains. And you know, I know. Here's a question I was going to pose to you to the whole group. Do you ever hear the saying? My grandma used to say this. It's never as good as you think, and it's never as bad as you think. It's somewhere in the middle. Maybe maybe they're trying to make us more scared than what we really should be. Well, Trump graffiti. was as bad as I thought he was. He, he, <laughs> graffiti was an art form in the 60s and 70s well, on, on, the, uh, on to, the subway cars. To a point. Every subway car looked like it was a work of art as it went yeah, it was past indeed. the station it was like this blur of colors because every train was uh was filled with with graffiti you know but it, the point is that um things are not as bad as people want to make them out to be yes yeah, so you found somebody in your neighborhood who got money that was like never happened my sister can you believe it well you say it never know. happened but it was bound to happen eventually it, and it may have happened in the past and you just didn't know about it you know what the cop asked me, Ox, when I went downstairs to get the package? Yes. I opened the front door. Do you live here? I just walked out the fucking door. What do you think I'm visiting? <laughs> sometimes I wonder if they're all there sometimes. Oh, no, I had no, a no, TV officer. in your hands. No, I no, thought he was going to arrest me for a second. I broke in and I'm leaving with the TV. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had my pajamas on. Could you give me a, you on, give me a hand moving pants. the TV out? <laughs> yeah. I had my lounge pants on. I'm not going to lie, Ox, my like, slash pajamas. Yeah. I was like, what's going on here? I said, oh, shit, the lady got mugged. And I said, can I ask you why you need to use the ring.com? He said, well, we really can't go into it. Then I kind of figured it out when they were talking that the lady got mugged. Well, I can't really give you the ring.com. That's what I was going to tell him. You want to use my camera, but I can't know what's going on while I live here. I mean, come on, give me a little information. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, uh, you're not going to vote for Hochul because of crime. Now, did she go out and commit those crimes? Yes. I just don't trust her. Alex. Like you know, uh, she's got cross Tony, eyes. Funny no, eyes. I don't like her. I hate her. I can't stand her. I can't stand, stand, the, I can't stand the way she threw Cuomo to the wolves. Yeah, okay. That I agree with. Yeah. I even told that to Shecky. He's, yeah. She makes it sound like she won. She only did because they put her there. It, uh, and she, she pushed him out. She pushed yeah, him out. She, she, in the middle of the day, she, she, was in a, she was in league with the attorney general to push Cuomo oh, out so she could be governor. Yeah. They, he must have stepped on somebody's toes or something back there. Or patted some, there. No, he didn't step on their toes, but he patted their ass. So that was the problem. Did, yeah, you're, he was all over the map. He was jealous cool. that it wasn't you your ass that he patted. Mm -hmm. You're just jealous that it wasn't your ass that he patted. Phil, Phil your favorite person was in the city today, Hillary Clinton. Bill? Uh, well, yeah, let me ask uh, uh, Kevin. Old, Kevin, yeah. what do you think? Do you really think that Biden helps a candidate by going out to a city and going for you know to speak uh, to get them people to vote for them? Do you think that Hillary Clinton has any pull with the public 
I in mean, New the, York, she does. I mean, who, no, who, no, no. Yeah. who, who, sh who should they be sending out? Obama. He was here last. He's week. Yeah, he can't be everywhere, and they're really the Democrats are in trouble. You you think know, so? They don't. They don't have anybody representing them right now. They don't have anybody they can send out on the stump that, you know, and the other problem is when they go out like Biden or Clinton or any of them, I like they that. go to these Democratic uh, gatherings. Well, those people yeah. are going to vote for them anyway. Well, where you want to them out the door, and it's all good. Yeah, you, you know, want that's all you, gonna get. you you want to go where people are not necessarily going to vote for the Democrats, right. And convince them why they should, and cozy up to them. I don't There's know why you're of... wasting your time at a Democratic fundraiser. You know, There's it, a lot of independents like myself out there that are just kind of hanging in the middle. Yeah. You know? to figure out which way to go but and, i mean what yeah. are you what are you going to do in new york city i mean this guy zeitlin what's his name zeitlin or zeldin 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 um zeldin he's the victim uh, of crime he, you think yeah he, somebody tried to attack him on stage and then yeah, yeah. got some uh a, a drive-by near his house with a bullet in his fence hmm. nice. really yeah uh, well, that could be set up too. It, no, it wasn't. It, related. it could have been. Could have, you know, could, oh, his could kids have, were in the house. Could be set up. Could be a set up. How, how, how low do you think? The See, guy I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. I'll tell you the worst thing. And don't you agree with this, Phil? Or I'm gonna just, I'm gonna blank out your picture. Well, I'll just or something. agree with you now. How, how's that? <laughs> there is. There are some Republicans <laughs> yeah. who are uh -huh. passing the rumor that the reason Paul Pelosi was beaten up was yeah. because he picked this guy up in a gay bar and brought him back to the house. You think that's true? There's no! Oh, out there. I mean, he's 82. He's still getting out of the house. God bless him. I mean, man. Oh, really, well, that was was but it, it, there are people p pushing that rumor like oh crazy. God, and it, so I, I'd like to find these people and just pimp slap them. I mean, really. First of all, the Castro is way down the hill, and he's too old to walk. That exactly. Far. <laughs> <laughs> That's a car. Oh, oh, no, wait a minute. He wrecked his car. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. He um, doesn't even have a car. The hill that they live on is way down there. I'm, he's leaving I'm, for another man. I can't believe. I, I, know, I know exactly where that house is. It's right up the hill yeah, where, I, where I live. Scott, yeah, it's Scott. On a hill like Darrow. this. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Scott. I'm, no, Scott well, the visit there, I, I, I think, is one block up. Is that yeah, a nice area? Yeah, but it's, uh, oh, Scott and Broadway. Scott and Broadway. It's Broadway. Yeah, One block up is the Visadero, and then you go down to Visadero, and you turn left on North Point, and I was on the corner. And if you go oh, to the other that way, Manha Castro. Is that in San Francisco, the city? Then? If you go the other way on the Visadero, you end up on Castro Street. Absolutely. Yes, you do. It turns into Castro. Yep. Yeah. 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 Like that. I, I love what yes. he, said, where, where he is. The guy said was he was 82, and Tony says, at that age, he still gets out of the house. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, hey, no, but I mean, you know the reason the why? Marriage, no. You know the reason why they wouldn't tell Tony anything with the no. ring thing? Because he walks out, they think he's a mental patient. He's wearing <laughs> uh, like, what's going on? He's wearing yeah. night clothes in the middle of the no, day. I call them lounge pants, my Marvel pants. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and he wonders why people look at him funny. Well, I was going to wear those pants all the time. Look at that. Look at me. Look. Yeah, what time is it in New York? It was what 3 o'clock when they jumped the lady. The I point. know. It's what, 10, 11 o'clock there now? Yeah. You know what? I got sesame shoes on tonight. I don't want to start my yeah. lounge. My sister well, bought them. My he's, he's at 3 in the afternoon. You're at 11 at night. <laughs> I came out in my lounge pants. Put How many lounge times have you gone to 7 Eleven to see the guy with his PJs on and his slippers? Yeah, he just got out of the mental hospital. At least once or twice a day. Yeah, no. I'm kidding. <laughs> kidding. But he's anyway. A, he's in it, Queens, right? Yeah. But I, yeah. I just You're think. You're allowed to live like that. I just think, you know, anytime something yeah. happens, they start rumors, you know? I love the rumors, though, because I thought, like, you think there's any truth to them? Maybe the marriage is going south. What do you say? Sure it is. What do you Maybe. say? What about the glass? She does look like a wet Alex, monster, doesn't she? What about the glass on the outside of the house, huh? What, what about that one? Watch the shiny <laughs> object, Tony. Watch the shiny oh, object. They actually have video of the guy breaking the glass oh, breaking in. 
Okay, Phil? Oh. And they got him yeah, but then he pushed the glass So forget out, but... about your Fox theories, okay? <laughs> I, I I believe that the guy was a nutcase. He was a member yeah, of the Green Party. He voted Green. Uh, he was into, he was a Canadian. What do you expect? He made hemp jewelry. He was here. He was an illegal alien. That that. Uh, How do you women? But I didn't know the Canadians were illegal aliens. Well, they didn't want them in Canada, so they threw him out. No, here. no, no. But no, no. But but they were saying that he his visa had expired. Do Canadians get visas? How does it work, though? I thought oh, my daughter be... lives in Canada. She had to get a visa to come here. Really? No, to live in Canada. Yeah, yeah oh. but that was one of your visas instead of a Mastercard you gave her. Yeah. A visa. Oh. <laughs> uh, she went to college there, and she wants to stay, so she applied mm -hmm. for citizenship. Mm -hmm. I don't blame her. her. She wants to get mm -hmm. away from you. Yeah. <laughs> Too many Republicans in the neighborhood. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I just, I just feel that a theory like that being even promulgated is is ridiculous of now course. over at uh, twitter there's an upsurge um since musk took it over of the use of the n-word really in oh tweets yeah really? you know that amber heard uh, her account was deleted off of twitter when today. Hmm? today i think uh, it was in the news why today. was uh, why would uh, amber heard twitter <laughs> account vanishes uh, when X, uh, when X, as X, Elon Musk becomes CEO. Oh no, I bet that's not true. It's a nine hour ago I, thing. Yeah, where, 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 where did you where where did you get that? People Wrong. magazine. Oh, uh, oh, you can believe everything. I I seriously. Oh, where do you get these I, sources? I seriously doubt that it, he it would. It came have, up on my uh, on my phone. People dot com. I seriously doubt. I didn't. I didn't true. search it. But I seriously uh, doubt that's true. So Amber Heard's official Twitter page now says this account doesn't exist. Well, it may so not getting, exist. Getting your getting your news from people.com is like somebody I don't get it from people. Wait, I, it's you should, like, it. it's like you should see you gets... should see the the garbage he sends me from like Republican uh, uh, organizations that are trying to raise money. Yeah, you get them too, too, right? Yeah. You could have deleted it, couldn't she? Uh, I don't know. Could have no, been. That. So getting your news from People Magazine is like getting your news from TikTok, Phil. Yeah. So, uh, well, no, I'm not getting it from People. It's just that it automatically comes up on the phone. Well, if it, no, I don't subscribe if to People. It's not it, there. It doesn't mean that they dumped it. It means that it's just not there. Yeah, she, she may have dumped it. it. She may have dumped it herself. Mm -hmm. It's Maybe just that somebody like, on Twitter wanted to find like Amber. Musk, she dumped it. A lot of people did that. Yeah. So, uh, so there's going to be a committee now at, at uh, Twitter to decide who can be on and who can't. And Musk says he's going to have no influence. So today they voted not to bring Trump back. Did, they they did, also, they're not bringing Tony on either. Did they, did they vote to not bring Trump back? I don't there, think there's, there's I, rumor that, that. He, that they may not let him back on. I, I didn't, I didn't. They may I, not. Well, it wasn't in People Magazine. How could you hear it? That's right. Well, you know, I, I'm mixed on I'm mixed on that because you know my theory about banning people because you don't like them, right? Or what yeah. they have to say. If, if I were, I, I believe in that, Phil wouldn't be here, you know. Uh, but uh, the fact is that I'm I'm like Musk. I believe that it's a free and open thing, and I just you know, I, as somebody brought it up one night here and it, it's a good question to ask what harm does trump do by being on twitter you know um i don't know spreads misinformation all the time well it, yeah spreads misinformation but so mm -hmm. do a lot of people i you, can't you get know. my q and on uh uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh uh what do they call those things uh mind control uh mm -hmm. stuff if i don't hear trump on it, if you subscribe for a year to People Magazine, they send it to you for free. Yeah. Well, just put the foil hat on, and it will <clears throat> allow you to get the signal better. Yeah. I'm uh, on CNN politics. On to what, what? Oh. And oh, you know what it says on CNN Wait a minute. Politics? Hold on a second. You're what? You're oh. on, on CNN politics, yeah? Yeah, and it's saying they're pushing the gay love theory that they're saying that the guy was in his underwear when the cops yeah. came. That's why. 
Who said this? Uh, that's the rumors, the falsehoods. They say that when the cops arrived to arrest him. Oh, you he, say these are the falsehoods. Yeah, like it, they, he was. Look, who, it was two. Who, Tony, who, it, it was two thirty in the morning. The guy gets out of bed when he hears a, a crash, and he's in his underwear. What? No, it's the guy who Brent, who went in there saying that the Palmer guy. Well, it was hot. Yeah, but the, when, I mean, who gets in the house and a But CNN the says the these box. are false rumors, right? Yeah, it's got to be false. Of course. Yes. of course, yes, of course. You know, I have I've not known the family personally. I know Alexandria Pelosi, and uh, you know, I've I've hung out with her, and uh, used to hang out with Barbara Boxer's daughter. Uh, and uh, I, I know that that family was a very well-respected, well-thought-of family in San Francisco. You know, whatever you want to say about her politics, throw politics aside, you know. It was a nice family. They raised some great kids, you know. Alexandria is a great uh, uh, documentary filmmaker. Uh, and and uh, to, to besmirch it with these kinds of stupid rumors, you know. I mean, what kind of society are we living in? Yeah, it's, like, it's almost yeah. like the, remember, it's like the, it's like the Esquire, uh, Esquire magazine now. It's like everything on the internet, like just. It all started with Trump. Oh, Inquire, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bad baby, remember? Yeah. You know, even, even the uh, Ku Klux Klan is okay with Trump. So anyway, I have sniffles that guy today. on Facebook was right. I have sniffles today. Uh, I think I may have a cold, but it, it is it doesn't feel like a cold. Like a I'm, COVID test? But no, you don't get the sniffles from COVID. Oh, well, maybe it's the new COVID. Yeah, you get a cough from COVID. Ah, yeah. so you're you're a doctor now. No, I'm not you saying know, I'm a do doctor. I just know the symptoms of COVID. What's your prescription for for Alex Salen? Oh yeah. You think he should take a COVID test? Yeah, no. <laughs> He has the sniffles all the time. He, you know, he's allergic to something in the air. Who cares? It mm. could be, but today I'm really, it was like I was blowing my nose constantly. When was the last time you were outside among, among other people? Tonight. Oh. Um, yeah, well, dinner. COVID doesn't come on that quick. So. Oh. Unless you're around Phil for a night. <laughs> you come down a heavy case. Yeah. And you probably get prostate cancer, too. Yeah, I got Everybody on the show too. does. Thanks, Phil. But anyway, I had to take. I took a, a Nyquil tonight before I came I on. Yeah, a, a, not a Nyquil, a Dayquil, a Dayquil, because oh, okay. a Nyquil puts you to sleep. Dayquil, yeah, that, 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 that keeps you awake, it. but you know, dries you up a little bit. So. Don't you get any more yeah, of those little right. pills that they give you, Tony, at the hospital to relax you for the MRI? Um, I had that volume, and I never took medicine for it. It had to work because when he was doing the needles, it, I was like talking to the guy. It wasn't even bothering me really. Just a little out. When he was doing minutes. what? The needles? Yeah, like he was putting the biomarkers in me, and he gave but me a the volume. biomarkers. It's a tattoo for crying out loud. He was doing something to my groin. Now I felt of, like I was what, having a baby. What, there. Well, just baby. tell him, don't touch me there. Well, no, it's the first time anybody's had anything to do with his <laughs> groin. Okay. <laughs> I, he said, what music do you want? I said, give me Elton John. I just said, no, don't be sure at this point. And then he made love to you. Uh, <laughs> they in the room, and my legs were open. I was like, oh, my God. I, I was like, wow, you do this all the time, right? I knew I had to be relaxed. What was this for? Were you bent That's, over the table? No, this was like two weeks ago. Uh, it was when they uh, he had to mock me inside with the gel for when they do the thing. It's like a spread so that they know when to uh, wait. Tony, like what that. gel? They don't give you gel. What, what, what are you talking about? They put a gel. No, they, they, you, you, you didn't have to have this, but they put a, uh, a, a it's bunch like a of... It's like a spacer. Uh, it's a spacer. It's called a spacer. It's exactly what they call it. Yeah, I remember I was reading on it, yeah. And if you're being radiated, it then puts a, a buffer between uh, yes. the prostate and your bladder and your, your, your rectum and whatever. It, 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 it wasn't yeah. that bad. No, no, but it's in there, and then it, it as months go on, it dissipates. It uh, yeah, because he he did the MRI. He was looking. At, I was actually it wasn't the, the biopsy was worse than that. That wasn't that bad. He just gave me like a two milligram for that just to take the edge. Yeah, off. but How many on the show it. have not had a prostate biopsy. Oh, that yeah, was bad. That's what I thought. Well, that Kevin hasn't had a prior, but you haven't had a prostate biopsy, have you? Two of them? Oh, yeah, you told yeah, me. two. I couldn't take one. I you know something? That, that, Mine didn't bother me in the least. I was going to ask you, oh. did, you, did it bother you? No. 
Oh, so you feel like hurt. skunk no, smell. No pain. No pain. It just all I could hear was something that sounded like a stapler. Yeah, but Alex, what about when he numbed you? Didn't that bother you? No, he shoved us. It, it took some uh, some dulling stuff and shoved it up my butt. And, yeah, and, I jumped when he did. I started crying. He says, "Calm down. Let it let it happen." Oh, I come says, on, it's come on, Tony. We have suspicions about you. You might have really liked it. You know, you were reaching around, Tony. The table. <laughs> you were crying that the guy's fist wasn't bigger. It was bad news. I, I, Tony, did the guy do a reach around? Yeah, no, no wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin's got his hand over his eyes. Are you thinking about when you got a biopsy, Kevin? No, he's thinking about Tony on the table with the reach yeah, around. That's not a good sight. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, wait, Kevin. I've had a biopsy. Wait, hold on, hold on a second. Kev fun. Shut up. Kevin, what are you thinking? I'm trying not to. <laughs> He's had two biopsies. I'm so thinking about it. flowers and trees. Oh, you had two biopsies, Kevin? <laughs> what? When you get he, the he had two biopsies. Everybody yeah. gets biopsies. <laughs> Yeah, yeah two. They they two. Did they not? Did they fi not find something the first time, or and they were continuing the look, or they were continuing? Uh, all I know look. is mine was, was, was my uh, mine uh, didn't uh, hurt like in three the years. Um, I, I was very apprehensive about it, and it started. Mm -hmm. and I went, I'm not feeling anything. You know, this mm -hmm. is fine. And then he's finished with me, and I go. You know, uh, I I I didn't uh, I didn't feel anything. Yeah, you know, well. it's things like I you like skunk smell. No, I didn't smell you, skunk smell. You like skunk smell. That's probably so, just a smell coming off your ass. Right. Well, yeah, if if you, you like skunk smell, shit. maybe biopsies don't bother you. You're totally you Oh know, skunk you know. smell. Oh, I was telling you about how I like skunk smell. Yeah. Wood pussy, as we call it. Uh, but you know, I mean, I, I, um, uh, it was, it was, it was terrific. Let me see here. How many people we got? Oh, we had about thirty-nine. Now we're down to thirty-four. I think. I think that, I, I think that, that you know, hmm? you know, Tony. I think the doctor's calling. He left his, uh, he left his Timex inside there. <laughs> he probably did. So he anyway, so you're go, you're going in for your your, uh, what your. Uh, I did it today, Alex. Oh, I did the simulation oh, the, today. The, oh, the the dress rehearsal. I did that to say uh, this morning. Yeah. Yeah. How did it go? Getting applause, Tony? Not really. She said everything was fine. I drank enough water. They did everything. She said everything looks great. She says, right. "You can go home." They so, said it was there like maybe twenty minutes. So when do you go in to do the start the? In uh, after Thanksgiving, I start that. And and it's it's how many days a week? Uh, five days a week, she said, 10 minutes a day or so, 10, 15 minutes. For how many days? Week. Five how many days. Weeks? Five how days, and then how many, how many weeks? Uh, I believe it's 27. 27 weeks? Weeks? Oh, shit, really? A five That's a day? Had. Are you out of your Five a day, low no. dose. No. That's what I had. No, yeah. 27, no. Phil, 27. I went two and a half months. Just, yeah, Phil went longer. Yeah. Two and a half months. That's not twenty-seven weeks. I went twenty yeah, twenty-four. Weeks. Oh no, twenty-seven happen. days. I'm sorry. Twenty-seven days. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. My mistake. There you go. That's yeah. better. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We well, see. Mine was only five days because I, I. You had a small prostate. No, I did the uh, I did the cyber knife basically. Yeah, they said you could do five days if you want. I just opted for this because I didn't want to go into the. Why well, you like going in and getting oh, radiated? I don't I'll, mind it because it's close to my house. My insurance is picking me up and taking me home. I'd rather do the low dose. It doesn't bother Tony, me. I'll give you the cyber knife. I got oh, it right God. here. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the five the five day thing was the best. It, you Were know, you tired, Alex, for five days? Like I'm no, they, they did it every other day. For five days, not five days, not over five days. It's over a week and a half, but oh. it's every other day. Yeah, but, the sun, but not the, weekends. The knife, the knife that you're talking about, the electronic knife, is a high dose. I was going to say, how high? Yeah, is it's, it? a, it's, it's a, a high dose. Yeah, it's done quick. It, yeah. you, oh, you know something? With radiation, you don't feel anything. That's what he told me, Alex. You want to? You know, feel you anything. will later on probably feel some fatigue. That's what he told me today. You might be tired. You tired might lose your hair, but it'll grow back. But Alex did. He used to glow in the dark on the way home from the uh, from the treatment. Phil told me to take a water bottle in the taxi just in case. Well, when I got the when I got the seeds, they told me for three months don't uh, don't you know have children sit on your lap. Really? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know they were that radioactive outside the body. 
they're very, they, they don't want to take any chances. I had, uh, what did I have? I had the, uh, uh, the uh, what was it? Oh, God, uh, the uh, heart thing where they use radioactive isotopes. I've had that heart scan. Yeah, and they told me, I said, do you have any stuff you want to tell me about you know, what happens afterwards? They said, just don't uh, let any pregnant women sit on your lap. Don't get close you're, to pregnant women for about, for about three you weeks. Know, what? You remember David Hajek when they gave him that <laughs> proton therapy in Czechoslovakia? <laughs> the guy actually had to stay in a room away from people for two weeks. He had to. He was yeah. uh, radiated. Yeah, he did that proton therapy, which is not considered. It's been around since the 50s, yeah, and it it's never been considered the most important thing. It's the, not the, the most effective, and it's not always cured. The radiation is quite it. effective, and the yeah. brachytherapy, which is the seeds, is supposed to be very, very effective. Yep. I was looking at the statistics tonight, and something like 92% uh, of all people who have brachytherapy with the radiation never you know never get it again after five years so i remember on one of your your earlier shows uh marjorie mm -hmm. was talking about a friend that had brachytherapy and the uh, cancer either came back no he didn't have brachytherapy <coughs> oh what, what did he, he just had radiation yeah oh. he had he was young and he had uh you know it was it was pretty advanced yeah you know um you know, so I, I uh, he was, uh, I can't remember exactly. They didn't do brachytherapy on him, though. For some reason, I thought it was the seeds, but I could have, you know, it's been a several years since I heard the conversation. Yeah, the seeds, folks, are is the brachytherapy, which is, they put like about 100 little isotopes in your prostate. Radioactive seeds. Yeah, and it, it's, it, your prostate isn't too terribly happy after that. You know? <laughs> no, it's not good? No. Well, it's like you have a bladder infection, uh, is what I hear. I, it, it, uh, let me put it this way: it gets a little harder to get erections, but that th th doesn't matter with you, Tony, because you never, no, you never <laughs> even if you got one, you wouldn't know what to do with it. So, <laughs> I got a problem here. Yeah. I think ED I walk in, they laugh at me. I think the ED is common amongst all the therapies. Uh, you What's know, that? I get newsletters uh, uh, about prostate cancer and. You know, uh, a lot of the people that comment say, you know, that. Well, you know, I talked to my doctor. I talked to my doctor, did the seeds, and he said, so any side effects? I said, yes, I, you know, uh, there's no such thing as an erection in my life lately. And he said, well, it could get better. You know, after five years or so, it could get better. And I'm going, well, I'll write you when it does. Dinner or something? What? He's going to take you out for dinner? Yeah. <laughs> Right. It's great, Jeff. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, take me out for dinner. <laughs> oh, oh, so you? Oh, you, oh. Listen, I got to tell you a couple of things. The, the, these are. This is. This is what happens in this world today. <clears throat> so I go to this Hulu thing where I'm getting the live TV. Oh, okay, yeah. and I'm paying seventy five ninety nine a month, and I'm paying another nine dollars a month to get it on as many TV sets as I want. Because Marjorie wants to watch in the living room and have it on in the oh, yes, kitchen and have it on in here in the office. And, mm. you know, I want it on in the guest room. And, I you know, uh, and then we somehow forget to turn the one off. Anyway, I wanted to, so I'm, it's worth it for me to get nine bucks a month. So it's seventy five ninety nine. I sign up two days ago and I get a notification oh, today, which went out to everybody who has Hulu. That the price is going up seven dollars a month. <clears throat> wow! Yeah, so now these great savings I'm enjoying yeah, are not. I'm still safe. I'm still breaking about even with me getting rid from what I got with Verizon. I mean, I was paying enough on Verizon that I think that I've managed to cut my bill for these services and everything back to something like by a hundred dollars. So, been doing pretty good, but. All of a sudden, you know, they decide, oh, yeah, we're going to raise the rates on this. Oh, okay. You know, you know, you may, I know you like the Hulu and the Disney Plus, 
but the YouTube TV is a pretty good deal, uh, and it's ten. It's right now. It's I think sixty nine bucks. Is it sixty nine? Sixty five, probably. Sixty five. Anyway. Yeah, and but but the thing is, the thing is, I do I do I do subscribe to Disney and to Hulu, and I want Hulu with no ads. So I mean, mm -hmm. I have all those things in addition to what I would get, like if I had uh, YouTube. Uh, I would not get those. Okay. Yeah. How much is Hulu with the ads? How much six, is Hulu six with or the seven dollars? Seven dollars. Like I have. Yeah, but you know something? I don't want it with ads. I'll tell you why. It's different. Like you say, well, you know, well, hell, you watch television. You got commercials, and you can record them, and you mm -hmm. can speed through them, and so on. And I go, yeah, but if you take Hulu with no ads or with ads, and Disney now is going to have with ads, okay, and Netscape is going to have. Netflix rather is going to have with ads, all right. But there's a slight difference of the with ads. I can always zip through a recording from my from my DVR on my cable system, but you can't zip through those commercials. You're locked into watching those commercials. Yeah. So um, you know, I, I I don't think it's a good idea, you know. So. Um, I I have to have it without commercials. Do you notice the commercials on uh, like Facebook and uh, just just on your phone are getting uh, more aggressive, where they overlay the article and they make it difficult to read? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. The commercial keeps overlaying it. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Just don't buy that product. No. Yeah. But yeah, I can't read anything. You know, I, I can't see how that's going to be to the advantage of an advertiser. If you're pissing people off, and it does, it's it's yeah. just very aggressive. Yeah. Yes, uh, Alan. My band. I got a, a notice earlier today from Comcast. My bandwidth is at the limit, and I'm like, oh, God, I got tons of bandwidth. What are you talking about? And so I called them, and they said, Yeah, the past two months, all of a sudden, I'm like, somebody must have tapped in. Let's let's change the password. So we change it, and the guy says, Don't run anything, and we'll do a test. And he says, somebody's using your bandwidth. And I'm like, so we'll send somebody out. They sent somebody out earlier today. The guy came out and said, did you notice this extra wire running to your neighbor's house behind mm -hmm. you? Yes. And I'm like, he tied it right into the phone line. Really? Oh, oh must, must be 150 feet of cable. And he, Alex used to have a show, uh, claimed, the, Great he, American, he, the Great American <laughs> Broadcast. Oh, I, I'm sorry, did, it, did, I, did I interrupt you? Yes. Yeah, and, let, let the guy finish, please. Uh, I thought he finished. I'm it sorry. wasn't finished. No. Oh, no, I heard so, the wire and, okay. But if he'd listen, you'd hear him. That he wasn't finished. <laughs> he never listens. Anyhow, so, Neither you do know, you either, Alan, but that's another I know, but story. Okay. Did yeah. the guy so, climb the pole? So, yeah, the, the guy actually climbed the pole and in the middle of the night and tapped in, and he happened to disconnect the TV by luck that I never watched. Mm -hmm. and, and he connected it to his house, and he's been using my internet and my cable. <laughs> so they, they cut the cable, and they're calling the police. Thank God you're not married. Yeah. Huh? God, you're not married. By the way, Brian is, is getting a prostate biopsy, even as we speak. Right now. Right. <laughs> Alex had a video show that, uh, when you watched it over the phone, originally, Great American Broadcast, Used a tremendous amount of bandwidth, and I had unlimited yes. cellular. <laughs> yeah. And what would happen was, uh, if you used so much, then they'd slow it down, and then they give you a warning. Uh, and uh, even though I had unlimited, uh, yeah, but you know something, they, but they throttle you down. What happened right. was that was when we first started the Great American right. Broadcast, yes. and it was a TV thing out of a TV studio. And uh, it was a very good show, by the way. I love that show. I go back and look at them. I should play oh, some. One. I should play one one night here. But anyway, uh, we went to the. Um, uh, so uh, the, the thing was that. You know, where was I? Was I hey, oh, we were talking yeah, about the amount yeah, of bandwidth. Yeah, yeah, the amount of bandwidth. That, so what we did is we were putting out a very high bandwidth signal, uh, something like 300 bits per second or something. I don't a, a goodly amount. Well, it turned out that with those days you had plans that you just didn't have unlimited, you know, and people would use up watching two of our shows their entire month's supply of bandwidth. Right. And so we had to do something. We we put out two different signals, 
Um, so you can oh. watch four programs. I don't know. But now today with like YouTube and stuff, you know, it's easy peasy. I, you know. you know, Phil, I like the, the, the watching it this way versus picking up the phone and looking at it. You said he, it was over the phone. This phone. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Now you have pretty much on most of your phones, you have unlimited plans. Yes. Well, I had an unlimited plan. It was called. It was a, a grandfathered plan called the Big Talker. Yes. Yeah. On but they. But they. What they also said was later on when they saw that people were using it too much, right. they went, "Well, they what we might do back. is if you're using it too much, we'll throttle you down." Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And then My people house, start. Huh? Now Phil's got a five feet phone that doesn't work five feet from the front door of the restaurant. Now Brian wants to say something. Yes, Brian. I limited plan. I haven't paid for a phone ever in my life. My work is always paid for my phones. Yeah. That's a The nurse said something was tight back there. What did what did she say? No, no, but Mark, I'm ready for the happy ending and we're over the show. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you by the way? Relax. I'm in beautiful Lodi. I just drove up here. I listened to your knuckleheads on the way up. So what what happened? Are you work are you staying up there for work tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, I'm doing a presentation at 2 a.m., uh, 10 a.m., and 6 p.m. tomorrow. Wait a minute, 2 a.m.? Yeah. Uh, in the in morning? China. <laughs> yes, in the morning. Yeah, in China. Yeah. Oh, because it's night shift, night shift. So I'm doing uh, doing presentations for manufacturing. So For, for China? No, for manufacturing and Lodi. But we have three oh, shifts. No. So oh, 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 the shift oh. goes out at 2. You got to do that in person? Yeah. No wonder they pay you so well. <laughs> I don't do it that often, but when I do it, I want to do it all three shifts. So I'm doing it mm. this time. So. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's good, you know. Yeah, it's good to keep in touch with everybody, and everybody up here knows me, so they're happy to see me. So it's nice. Yeah, mm. they go. Oh, well, that guy's way overpaid. He's he's <laughs> driving a big fancy, uh, you know, car and all. Oh, that. they're happy to see it. What is that? A banana in your pants? You just happy to see me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway so um you know i mean uh bandwidth was a big problem with that show you know yeah uh, we also had an audio one going out as well so that people could hear the audio but yeah and <clears throat> when he when alan was talking about the bandwidth that's why i brought that in because it was one of your yeah. your earlier attempts the at first couple of weeks that we were doing that show we we're getting like 400 people watching at a time it yeah. was an excellent show. It was. It was terrific. Uh, not only did you have Albert doing the uh, production, but then yeah. you had Marjorie. Well, that was later on. Yeah. Yeah. But here's the, here's the problem. I mean, it, it, uh, it, uh, I would like to run some of those. But the trouble is I, 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 I'll be demonetized because there's too much music and other clips of people. Mm -hmm. And so, the, you know, they, they, they won't like what I'm using, you know. I might, I might put it up somewhere else so people can watch it. In fact, you can watch it if you go to our, uh, uh, our um, uh, what do you call it? Our uh, website? Uh, uh, no, our, our Roku. Our, no, Roku. our Roku, Roku. channel. Uh, mm -hmm. There, It's up there. Some of those shows are up there. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, you used to have uh, the woman that, uh, the women that, uh, or people that would shoot themselves uh, uh, women shooting guns. Oh yeah, I have uh, women puppy. shooting guns. High, women with high caliber equipment. Yeah, <laughs> and they'd be shooting like, blah, 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 and they'd be in bikinis, right? right. You know, yeah, <clears throat> I love those. There's a whole site with those. I don't know if they still have it, but I, I, that know. would appeal to the Republicans: the guns and the women in bikinis. Yeah, yeah. It it, re it appeals to all of them. Yeah, it, and yeah. that. that. But you know, I, I uh, yeah, I like that show a lot. I mean, that's yeah. this show became this show came out of that, and then this show was just audio only. And then I did a video on Friday nights, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. then all of a sudden, I learned that there was such a thing as YouTube, and ta-da! You know, here we are. And I don't know if anybody listens to the audio. How many people are listening to the audio? Audio tonight. Let's see here. Is I yeah. It, I, I, I used to listen to the audio, the podcast audio, before. Yeah. Uh, when you guys were doing the, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, when you guys only had video on Friday, I used to listen to it on the way to work because I'd be in traffic, and then COVID mm -hmm. hit, there was traffic. Five people are listening to the audio right now. 
That's the FBI. Really? Huh? <laughs> that's the FBI. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, that's, uh, that's that. Well, we got about, yeah. we got about three minutes left. Anybody have anything they want to say? <laughs> Adrian's sick also. You said you had a cold. Adrian yeah. was coughing and some congestion, and she's, she was home today. I, but I'm not coughing. I'm just sniffling. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 I haven't it, fight one for a week. You uh, take this stuff called cold cam. Uh, I used to use a thing called coldies. Coldies. Oh, yeah. Down. They have zinc in them, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's weird. You take it oh. for like uh -huh. little pills. You take them about every 15 minutes, and then you take three in the day. What's the vitamin C? Them down, and it goes away. Uh, it what's it called C? again? Cold cam. Cold oh, cam. Cool. You know the good yeah. thing about a cold? Is if you take care, really good care of yourself and everything, it goes away in seven days. If you do nothing at all, it goes away in a week. Uh, Jeff is trying. To get Jeff in was there. trying to say something. Yeah, all the a lot of the young kids are getting sick for the yeah. same kind of things, and two of my granddaughters are sick. Are totally different locations and I, I had and the flu shot last week. My daughter's friend got sick, and they were over here at Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> got COVID. Really? Spread it all over oh. my house. Right. Well, none of us got you, it. You know something? I got to tell yeah. you. Remember the day where when somebody came over and they had COVID, you were all in the, uh, getting ready to die, making out your wills? Seven <laughs> weeks, seven seven days, you had a, yeah. ten days, yeah. you had a. And now, yeah. now it's like, uh, oh, well, I got exposed to it. I'll call my doctor and I'll get, you know, pla it's Paxlovid. Not. And not even that. Yeah. I mean, he called the other, he called, what, yes, when was uh, Halloween? Monday? Mm -hmm. They called it Tuesday and said he had COVID. Yesterday, I went around spraying the doorknobs and the crap, and nothing's <laughs> happened since. Yeah, but you should call your doctor and get Paxlovid, too. You know? Why? Yeah, because why? Didn't be ready with positive. it. Nobody tested positive. Oh, okay. Not on. All right. Well, then, if nobody And tested. I was fighting a cold at the same time, but I also got both of my shots last Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. How many days does it take from exposure to COVID till you actually test positive? If, if you uh, about three. <laughs> <laughs> no, it can, it can take up to 14 days, I think. Yeah, that's two, the old, yeah. two to 14 days. Yeah. Is what they say. Yeah. yeah. I went and got the double whammy. Was it last Friday? I went and got a sh uh, COVID in my left and a flu in my right. Yeah, well, oh, you're, you're going to get some side What were you going to say, Jeff? Quickly. I, been waiting a week. I went and worked all day. I worked 12 hours with the band on Saturday. Okay. You've been waiting a week for what? Jeff was trying to get in. Yeah, we, we're, our system is wait a week after you think you have COVID to, and then take the test. And then take the test. And once you, if you test positive, call your doctor, get some Paxlovid, and, you, you know. Yeah. That's well, it. If you were positive for more than five days, the Paxlovid they don't give to you, right? Right, but you don't know when you started being positive. It, it, it right. you know, it works. It's good. Yeah. It's terrific. You know, it's I think saved a lot of lives. Well, mm -hmm. there's our theme song. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh, last night I was trying to to uh, put my programs over onto our server, and it wouldn't go. So today I had to deal with GoDaddy. And that, you know, I hate calling anybody like that. Two an hour, two and a half, uh, two hours. It took to get the whole thing taken care of. Like mm -hmm. you know, to begin with, you're put on hold with music for about an hour, about forty-five minutes, Everything. and they think like you don't have a life. You know. Should have called but, Jack Bishop. He could have walked you. Through. But anyway, we're fine. Yeah, I call him for tech support. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> thank you all. Thank you all for joining us this evening. Uh, what mm. I thought was going to be, uh, what? It's over already. I just got on. Yeah, but now, uh, you know, if I didn't call have Jack. if I didn't have call Jack after me, I'd uh, keep going with you. you hey, know? Brian, call Jack. He needs some blood. You know. Mm. No. Yeah. yeah. Blood. Anyway, uh, thanks to uh, to Alan and thanks to Kevin and thanks to Phil. Nice of you to call tonight, Phil. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jeff, nice of you to be here. Uh, Tony, uh, always a pleasure. And uh, fellow prostator. Uh, okay, yeah, I just made a word up. And and of course, Brian, everybody give a big wave goodbye and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? And say so long, folks. There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel. And we'll, uh, we'll get another one going tomorrow night. Jack Bishop is next. He's here with the intersection. He'll be taking your calls on Skype. 
with the name GabNet Live is the address. GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.